Hey guys, it's Quentin. Uh, someone requested what my radio and radio or CB setup was. I don't know exactly which one he was referring to, but I figured this would be actually a good opportunity to show off what kind of radio and CB setup I do have in my Jeep. Now, I don't have the factory soundbar slash dome light that I have up here. Mine's a little bit more of an older TJ. So what my TJ actually did come with, the, the people that had it before me ran these 6x9 boxes. Uh, back here, the uh, the uh, Pioneer speakers and the 6x9s, also up in the front, up in that little cavity right there and on both sides. Those are both uh, Pioneers. I don't know the size of those speakers. Like I said, this doesn't come with the Jeep, so I have to learn this after the fact. These ones are 6x9s, uh, Pioneers. Originally, they did not have these boxes set here. They had them um, just sitting on the rear seat here, and I didn't like that. And the fact that I do have a soft top and the bolt holes for... The hard top were being unused. I just bungee corded these speakers right here, and they've been holding pretty good. The only downside of it is it will put a mark on the soft top from when it flaps in and out and hits the speaker. But if, since this is the permanent spot for the speaker, no one's going to see that part of the soft top window anyway. These wires are all routed back as best as possible underneath the carpet, all the way back to the deck. And the deck up here is a JVC. Where's that number? Do, 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 do. JVC KDR300. You can't see because it's producing a stupid amount of glare. I like it. It's pretty cool. It has Bluetooth enableability, but you got to kind of get an add on for that, which I don't have. So I just typically use an auxiliary cord. Like I said, this is where I put that speaker and, of course, this one. Apologize for having to use a flashlight for this. It's kind of dark in my garage since this is at night. Uh, that's the radio setup that I have in the Jeep. I like it. It has no subwoofer. The center console in here, there on this side, there's a slot for for a subwoofer that I might add in later. But I had to, I'd have to get an amp, and that's just a whole other set of problems that I'm just not gonna really deal with right now. It, it sounds good and clean, even uh, though it does not have a subwoofer. I mean, going down the road, you kind of have to crank it up since the soft top creates a bunch of noise. But anyway, now my CB setup. <sighs> is pretty simple. It's a uh, Cobra, Cobra 29 CB. I mounted just to the top of my uh, air conditioning unit. Uh, I did create extra brackets for it to keep it from uh, vibrating so much. I created those out of sheet metal. Let me see if I can pull this. This little kind of, I don't know what you'd call it, maybe a cozy or something off of it. I had my mom make me that. Okay, let me put the camera down. I'm just not going to be able to do this. Uh, there. Okay, it keeps the uh, heat off of it. Not the sand, though. I created these brackets right here out of sheet metal. Just, fo just fold them down in kind of an L shape, and then bolted them to the base of the where I screwed where I screwed these into, which was mainly right in that little tray that they have up here. That little plastic piece they have in there is removable. And I just popped that out and you know created some anti-theft slash vibration brackets. It won't stop theft, but it's definitely going to deter it. That's pr And CB lines I routed uh, pretty much along the window seal, down on that side, all the way back through here. Route them. You can see right there, there's the CB line. Comes back, pops out through there into my antenna. Make sure your CB antenna is grounded, though. That is um, a key key feature. I've seen a lot of people put their CBs up here, but I knew I had future plans for this, so I didn't want to do that. So that's my uh, my CB and radio setup. If you guys have any further questions, let me know, and I'll see. What I'll try to answer them to the best of my abilities. Like I said, I did not wire up the radio myself, so I couldn't really tell you anything about that. But I will try to answer your questions the best I can. So, all right, keep it a Jeep.